started with the hay Lost a creek and well it just started in the hay He kicked his ass back to the <sighs> What's that smell? It smells like dead cow up in here Bro, I'm so excited for tomorrow Why are you so excited for tomorrow, blueberry muffin? Because it's my birthday. I turn 10 tomorrow. I ain't never seen two pretty best friends. Bruh. Yup, that's me, the prettiest one in the car. And I'm here with this Godzilla. Ooh. Morning, peasants. Get your tiny butts up. Shut, Shut the, the heck up. up. Man, whatever. Come back in here, can you never homework. catch me? Finally, everyone's up. Bruh. Uh, <laughs> Stop playing with me before I break every bone in your body. Bruh. Come back! I'm just kidding, you know I love all of you guys. <laughs> <laughs> we love you too. All of y'all, shut the heck up. I'm trying to do yoga in here. No one cares, Mom. Kids, breakfast. Let's go get our breakfast. Coming. Morning, Dad. Yeah, morning, Dad. Morning, children. How are you this morning? Why the heck is Mom like... I don't know. We're good. We just like having fun, so we we're just playing around. Yeah, and that one over there almost broke my arm. <gasps> Did you really almost break her arm? I was just messing around. I didn't mean it. <sighs> Those kids are just so obnoxiously loud, bro. Can't even take it. Morning, honey. Are you going to uh, eat breakfast with us? Sure, why not? Reese's Puffs, Reese's Puffs. Eat them up, beat them up, beat them up, beat them up. Reese's Puffs, Reese's Puffs. Eat them up, beat them up, beat them up, beat them up. Wow. I got Reese's Puffs. All right, guys. Please go get ready for school. It's your first day. Are you guys excited? Yeah. yeah. Come on, let's go. We gotta get our school bags. Uh, Typhoon, here's your school bag. Thanks, I guess. Here's mine. And here's my colorful bag. Give me it. Let's go. I'm so excited. Me too. <laughs> oh, look over here. It's this dumb gate. Bruh. Surely, it's literally a gate. Just jump over it. Well, I'm not gonna jump because I don't want to ball break my ankle. Yeah, we all knew that you were clumsy. Stop talking to me! You were the one who called me Blueberry Muffin earlier. That offended me, but I didn't say nothing because... Guys, stop talking and let's get to class already! Coming. Yeah. Oh my gosh, I gotta put my stuff in my locker. I'm not even allowed to wear this, but I'm gonna wear it anyway. Time to put my stuff in my locker. Oh my god, it's Typhoon. How you doing, buddy? I'm good. How are you? I'm great. So, uh, where's your little friend, Armpit? I want to speak to him. Are you blind? He's, like, right there. Like, just look over there. Oh my gosh, no! I did not give consent to that. You're just a big baby, like always. Hey, best friend, what's going on over here? <whistles> oh, Yolanda's being mean to me again. She keeps saying... No one's talking to you, Shirley. Like, I don't care what you have to say. Ugh. I say, I say good morning, students. I am your principal, Old Shag Hennessy. And since this story does not have any plot relevance, please go to class immediately. <laughs> She's scared of you, so that's good that you got the upper hand. Oh, well, I guess I'll just put my stuff in my locker, and then, come on, bestie, let's go to class. Come on, guys, we have to get to class. We're coming. Good morning, students. Today, we have a new student joining our class. Her name is Gwen. Please welcome Gwen with the best of interest. After school that day... So, what did you think about our school? Did you like it? Was it nice? It was nothing to look at, fancy-wise, but we'll get around it. Oh, hell no! 
come on, like, you literally suck. Oh my god, bro. Oh, hell no, man. What the fuck, man? It's a red. I'm out of here. Like, what's a red? Yeah, like, what's a red? They're the Demogorgons who want to take revenge on us for, you know, being richer than them. I don't understand. We were split into two groups. The blue group, which is classified as the rich group, and the red group, which is classified as the poor group. There's not that many things that are red showing that they're poor. But the blues have an advantage, because there's so much more things that are blue, so we have a better advantage. Yeah, but the red recently figured out a loophole, because pink is a form of red, so they use pink things now. Yeah, and who knows how many things are pink. Well, I don't think they're that bad. I'm gonna go say hi. Surely, wait! No, wait a minute! Surely, wait! Hello, guys! And who the heck are you? Um, my name's Shirley. What's your name? I'm Eva the Diva. Smash. And my name's Barbie. Nice to meet you. Psych! Oh my gosh, you guys are red. Like, isn't it crazy? There's no reds around here. Like, I'm so happy to meet you. What the heck are you guys doing over here? We're doing your mom. Oh. Bruh. Wait, what? Isn't he your brother so doesn't that technically make his mom your mom oh uh i forgot sorry bro but like you're adopted oh okay Bruh. that's messed up man surely wait a minute oh my god it's a whole bunch of blues first of all one of them is not blue one of them is black actually for your information Mine's a navy blue. And what are you supposed to be? Like, you guys look like watermelons. That's suspicious. That's racist. I mean, you guys kind of look like hot sauce or jalapeno peppers. Those are green, not red, so get your facts straight. Yes, and did we ask for your opinions about our colors? No, we did not. Well, we didn't ask you to give us feedback on my color. Come on, guys. We can go home and deal with them tomorrow. Yeah, and we'll tell our parents that we met you guys here, too. Come on, guys. Let's go. They're a bunch of babies. If they really wanted to fight us, they could square up right here and now. Come on, Blues. Let's go. I never thought I'd meet a Red. <laughs> Finally. Home sweet home. Are you, like, coming, Daisy? Like, I'm coming! So, tell me where you've been all day. Oh boy. I was outside playing, Avi. Well, you're two and a half hours late coming home. You need to help us with the housework, and you need to go to work. Uh, sorry, Dad. I quit. Like, I don't want to do work. No. Well, I guess I'll see you tomorrow after school. Tell your friend to stay. I have something for her. My dad, Totes, has something for you. For me? What do you have for a little old Daisy? Here. It's a plushie that was handmade by my family. Keep it. You and your brother can share. Well, this is the best gift ever. That. Like, Totes? Awesome. What a weird kid. You're welcome for the toy. Thank you very much. Hey, brother, I'm home. We do not care. Oh my god, it's my obnoxiously weird sister. How are you? Oh, hey, mom, what's up? How are you, Barbie? How was your day? It was fun. Guess what, mom? I met some blues. Wait, you what? Yeah, um, we saw some reds, and we were just wondering what's the deal with the whole situation and why we can't all live together under one society. And also, um, what's the deal with, like, the reds hating us? Like, we want to know about that, too. Shirley, why are you crying? 
because it's like my birthday tomorrow and like no one celebrated and i'm like so sad bruh honey i cannot take these kids they are so annoying well you're gonna have to we couldn't exactly celebrate surely because of the reds we have to go deal with them then we'll celebrate okay i guess girl that's my teddy bear give me it back girl no I want this teddy bear. You're gonna have to go get your own, sis. Oh my god, will you guys like stop arguing? Like, I'm trying to watch the superhero Phantom Force, whatever it's called. I want that teddy bear, so hand it over. Come back. <laughs> it's finally morning. Good morning, family. Good morning, dear. How are you this morning? I'm good. Oh, I gotta take a big fat dump in the toilet. Bruh. Dang, Dad, you're gonna literally blow up the whole entire house. Morning, honey. Morning, Mom. How's it going? It's going good. Listen, I am going to get ready because all of us reds are gonna go band together to destroy the blues okay mom i'm gonna go get ready too by eating some yummy breakfast so what are you doing sis i'm gonna make those reds pay for me missing my birthday because i had to miss it because of them i'm tired of getting stepped on yeah okay i'm gonna leave now Everyone, we need to leave now if we're going to defeat those reds. We're coming. We're here and ready to go. I'm present and accounted for. Take that off. No, I'm a burrito. Can't make her take it off. Oh my god, we are so outnumbered. Look at how many reds there are compared to us! Hello, motherfucker! That's a lot, Armpit. I'm scared. We're all here. The Red Society versus the Blue Society. You know, I got all these people together so that I could avenge my birthday because I didn't get to celebrate yesterday because I met you guys. Well, I didn't get to do the things that I wanted either. Shut up, Barbie. No one cares about your opinion. So, like, what do you want to do? Fight? Avi! Bruh. <laughs> Get her, Shirley! Come on! Let's go, Shirley! Go, Barbie! Go, Barbie! Go, 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 Barbie! Oh, that's gotta hurt! Bruh! Barbie, you made it on my own! Wow, you guys! I can't believe I did it! Wait just a minute. That's weird. I see someone's face that I recognize in that crowd of blues over there. You're a peasant. You're not allowed to get near us. I don't want to hear what you have to say. Move it, child. Hey, uh... Thomas, is that you? Who are you again? It's me, your brother. He used to be a red. So you're telling me, this whole entire time, I fell in love with a red, had a couple of children, adopted a few more, and just for him to be red? Wait, no, I, I can explain. I, I, I- Turns out my dad just hated us the whole entire time. Was jealous that we were blue because we were born from the same uterus as my mom. And how could you abandon your family like that? You had a sister who was in the hospital. You had a, a mom who didn't really like you, but you also had a child. Oh, you are dead now. 
I didn't intend to fall in love when I became a blue. And I sure as heck didn't want any drama. All I did was become blue to get peace in the world. What are you talking about, Dad? The government. I want them to stop making up rules, saying who can be rich and who can't. I wanted a life where everyone lived equally. I see where you're coming from. I guess I want that too. But that doesn't explain to me why you decided to become blue and fall in love with me and deceive me. You could have told me that you were red from the beginning. I couldn't have because you wouldn't have listened to me. I wouldn't have listened to you if I knew you were red. My point exactly. Don't worry, Dad. We used to accept you as a blue because even though you aren't blue, you're still her father. Whether you like it or not. Aw, oh, thanks, child. I love you too. Yep, I'm not staying around for this. Come on, Reds. Let's just leave the blues alone. We'll build up our own society. And, uh, even if the government doesn't like it, who cares? We can build stuff from scratch. That's what we learned, right? Well, thank you for helping me, Tiki. Oh, you're welcome. It was no problem. I'm always willing to help you out. And that was the end of the blue life.